All right, here's uh, section 9.2, and this is, we're talking population means. Last section, it was population proportions. This is population means. So number 15 says, determine the point estimate and the margin of error. So remember, confidence interval for a mean, population mean is x bar. That's my point estimate plus or minus t star, oops, not square root, s over square root of n, where my sample, I know what x bar is and I know what s is. Okay, so for 15, we've got, um, they tell us, tell me the, low, the lower bound and upper bound, and this is just like we did in the last section for proportions. It goes from 18 to 24. Well, these are my endpoints, so right halfway in the middle is my average x bar. So halfway between 18 and 24, it looks like it's 21, because I add 3 and subtract 3. So this is my point estimate. This is what x bar is, 21. And then the margin of error would be 24 minus 21 is 3, and 21 minus 18 is 3. So where this interval comes from is 21 plus or minus 3. That's the margin of error. That's this part of the equation right there, margin of error. Okay, so x bar, sorry, is 21, and my margin of error is 3. What I'm adding and subtracting to go each way. Okay, so there's 15. 17 is just like it. Lower bound is 5, upper bound is 23, so I've got to find halfway. 5 plus 23 over 2, which is 28 over 2, which is um, 14. Sorry about that. So x bar is 14, and then the margin of error is what I add or subtract. So if I go 14 minus 5 is 9. And if I go 14 plus 9 is 23, so there's my margin of error. So my confidence interval is really 14 plus or minus 9. Okay. And then 19. A simple random sample is drawn from a population that's normal. The sample mean is found to be 108. So this is 19. X bar is 108. And S is 10. So A, construct a 96 percent confidence interval for mu the sample size if the sample size is 25 okay well remember we got check conditions one has got to be a random sample and two n has to be bigger than equals 30 by the central limit theorem or the population is normal which it told us that it was up here so I don't have to worry about that Okay, so then, that's the first thing I need to do. Second thing, formula, x bar plus or minus t star s over square root of n, like I said above. And we want 96% confidence. So I've got my sample, 108, plus or minus, I've got to figure out t star by the table in the back, and that's 10 over the square root of 25. So I'm gonna look this up in the back and I'm going to find that we want a 96% confidence interval. Oh, I can't do that either. So this is just T star for 96%. Okay, so I don't know what that is because I don't have a 96% column in the back of my book. And so I'm just going to let my calculator determine that. So we'll do this one on the calculator. And the rest I'll just do on the side. So we got, let's see, stat, tests, and what kind of a interval am I doing? It's a T interval. So I go down to T interval. And I have to go over to stat, because I'm putting stats in. And X bar is 108. Standard deviation is 10. Sample size is 25. Confidence level is 96. 
So it'll take that into account and find t for me. And I end up with my confidence interval of, oops, someday I'll remember that, 103.6 and 112.3. So there's my interval. And that's what it asked for. We, do we have context in here? We don't have context, but I'm 96% confident that the true population average lies in that interval. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Here's three. Here's the four things I'm looking for. I'm 96% confident that the true population average um, for whatever is between 103.6 and 112.3. Okay. Then B. That was all A. B. Construct a 96% um, confidence interval for mu if the sampling size is 10. So if I, the only thing that's going to change is this guy right here and this guy right here. And I'll do that in my calculator. So it'd still be 108 plus or minus T star times 10 over the square root of 10. And if you do that, you get 100.4 and 115.6. And it says, how does decreasing the sampling size affect the margin of error? Well, if I got this and I make the bottom number smaller, that's going to make the whole fraction bigger. Okay, think about this. One half is 50%, one third is 33 percent, one-fifth is 20 percent. So as the bottom gets bigger, I'm dividing by a bigger number which makes the fraction smaller. Okay. The other ways to recognize is just look at them. This margin of error is, you know, if I find the middle, I can go halfway up and down. Well, this one's bigger, right? Margin of error is going to get bigger because the interval is bigger. And then the same thing for C. You get 90% confidence interval for sample size 25. So it's going to be the same formula here, except T star will be slightly different. So if I decrease the confidence, the interval gets smaller. right? Because you're less confident, T is going to be smaller. It's going to be a smaller interval. OK, I think that's up to 19. Was that not? Yeah, it's 19. So we'll let this video go at that.